Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here at Math and Engineering. We're going to do a quick question, a uh, quick example for you on how to use uh, Lagrange interpolating polynomial to estimate uh, or, or fit a polynomial to a set of data. You know, there's you'll see in the book and in this course there are these really confusing long formulas that a lot of people get kind of thrown off by. Uh, so for this, I'm not going to show you the formula. I'm just going to show you how I do it and then maybe that can help you understand how to use the formula, how to interpret the formula, or you can just remember how to do it and not even worry about the formula, okay? Let's just get started and uh, hopefully this is helpful to you, okay? So let's read the question. Use Lagrange interpolating polynomial to estimate f of two for the given data, okay? So what it wants us to do here is it wants us to come up with the Lagrange interpolating poly uh, the, the polynomial and then plug in two and find the final number answer. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so uh, since we have four data sets, okay, we're gonna write f sub three. Okay, so if we had five, uh, x, one x, two x, three x, four x, five, y one, y two, one, three, four, five, et cetera, we'd have f of uh, sub four x, okay? And uh, we're going to end up with four terms here, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, okay, right off the bat is we're gonna look for y one, okay? So y one, we're gonna start with that. We're gonna keep that in brackets. Okay, this gets a little bit long, okay? So we're gonna work down, all right? So that's the first thing you do, go to y one, write it under brackets in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, start by writing x, okay, and each term in, uh, in the Lagrange interpolating polynomial in the numerator is going to have this x, okay? So this x is a, a variable, okay? This is, don't get this x confused with x sub one, x sub two, okay? This is something different. So we're gonna start with x and we're going to subtract each uh, entry in the table here that's not x1, not the one that we're working on, okay? So remember we went to y1 and we put this one in. So x1 and y, now we're not going to include x1 in the numerator in this question, okay? So uh, we're going to start at x2 and we're going to subtract uh, x2 from x, okay? And we're just gonna go along and we're going to subtract x3 and we're going to subtract x4, okay? There we go, easy, simple, just like that. You know, no long formulas, really straightforward, just kind of remember how to do this process. So that's for the numerator, okay? So say we're in this column, we're working on this column, we're going to, si we're going to subtract x from all of these, okay? And uh, the whole thing is multiplied, like I said before, by negative two, by y1, okay? Now let's go to the denominator, okay? So now we're going to take the numerical value of x1, this is where the x1 comes into play, which is negative two, okay? And we're going to subtract that, okay, by each uh, value, uh, again, of the x's that are not x1, okay? So minus, okay, minus 1 again, okay, uh, minus 0, negative 2, once again. So we're subtracting x1 from all of these values here. Finally, we have minus 2, minus 4, okay? Simple. Okay, perfect. So that is the first term of our Lagrange polynomial, okay? And essentially what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do exactly the same thing for each column, okay? So we're going to next start at uh, y2, and then we're gonna start at y3 and y4. So let's just go through them, okay? And uh, all of these are added together, by the way. So let's start in the next one, okay? So you get the feel for what this is. Okay, so our y2 value is four. So we're going to multiply four by, and then let's draw our line for our fraction. Okay, so now um, we're going to, we have our variable x, and we're going to subtract that by every x value that's not x2. So not that, the one that's not in the column of y2. Sorry, x minus minus two, x minus zero, x minus four, okay? Simple, really straightforward, okay? So nothing to get caught confused or stressed out over. Uh, just follow these steps. Next, on the denominator, okay, we're gonna look for y, uh, y2, the value of x2, negative one, so we're gonna start at each term with that, and we're going to subtract the other x values by this. So we have y1 minus minus two, so x2 minus x1, okay, multiplied by x2, which is negative one, minus x3, which is zero, and then we have x2 minus one minus four, okay? Super straightforward, okay, so that's done. Let's move on to X, uh, y3. So starting, I'm gonna go a little faster now. Okay, let's draw the line for our, uh, for our fraction here. And we go ahead and start with our variable X and we're going to subtract that by all the X's that are not X3. So we're going to start with X minus X1, okay? X minus X2 and X minus X4. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and do the denominator. So we're going to look for the value of x3, which is 0. And we're going to just, like I said, subtract that by all the values of x that are not x3. Simple. Okay, so there we have uh, x3 minus x1, x3 minus x2, x3 minus x4. Finally, let's do the last term. So just follow this pattern. It's the same if you have three value, three data points. If you have five, six, seven, you just follow these steps every time. You get 100%. Simple. It's free marks. All right, let's take a look at this. What do we have here? We have our variable x. Uh, all the by subtracting by all the values of x in the data points that are not x4. So we're going to start with x1, x minus x2, x minus x3. Okay, let's go to the bottom. Let's start with the value of x4. And then we go x4 minus x1, x4 minus x2, and finally x4 minus x3. And that's it. So this here is our Lagrange interpolate uh, Lagrange polynomial. Okay. Now the the question isn't finished because it asks us to estimate f two, f of two. Uh, and how we do that is pretty simple. Okay. So what we're going to do is now we're going to take our polynomial here and we're going to go ahead and plug in two into x here. So that's where that variable x comes into play. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have f3 of 2, and that is going to be equal to, I'm just going to write down the simplified, simplified version for you. Okay. So uh, what we've done there is we've gone ahead and we plugged in 2, and uh, we've gone ahead and simplified these negatives here and made them positives uh, and cleaned it up a little bit. And if we go ahead and calculate these four terms, we will get negative 2 minus 12.8 plus 3 plus 1.6. And if we add that up, we're going to get negative 10.2. Okay? And negative 10.2 is f of 2 calculated by using the Lagrange polynomial to estimate f of 2 of this given data here. Okay, so uh, essentially what that means is this is a, if, if you were to plot this on MATLAB, that would be a, kind of like a curve of best fit through these points of data. Okay, and on that curve, when x is 2, this is the y value. That's, that's what that value means. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I uh, hope you learned something there, and as always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.